Good morning, folks. Midges are a bit out this morning. Um, I had a shocking sleep last night, I think. Uh, I've seen just about every hour on the clock. <coughs> uh, yeah, I spent quite a while last night, fortunately, removing ticks from my legs. They were just really tiny, but it was so annoying. And all the same, they were there. So, yeah, I think there was an infestation of ticks on my legs. They are all removed. Um, nice dry morning. It's very still, and that's why the midges are out. A bit of a pain. I have the water boiling for my cup of tea this morning. We'll get a bit of breakfast, get stuff squared away, and we'll head out of this wood back into Fort Augustus and back onto the Great Glen Way Trail. <coughs> um, if I can top up with some water for on the way. This is uh, my final day, this is day three. Um, I'm now heading towards Fort William, which I think is roughly, I mapped it out, roughly 34 miles. Um, I thought it was shorter than that. <laughs> So I was a bit disappointed when I found 34 miles. Um, anyway, it's a long, it's it's a bit uh, on the lower ground, so you're talking um, canal ways, um, so going uh, down some of the canal, the couple of the locks, at, uh, down to the locks, yeah, and some woodlands and things like that. I don't think it's as steep as the last couple of days. So, oh god, I'm just jumping about here with these midges. So, yes, hopefully a bit of a easier cycle, because I'm definitely feeling it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, goodness sake. It's one of these mornings where I'm just feeling the midges really bad. Okay. I will probably, I'll probably get back to you once I've got the tent down, but there is not a lot to put away because it was bare minimum last night. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's get this cup of tea. Okay, that's me ready to go, folks. Um, midges are so annoying. And I'm just going to get out of here. Bikes all packed, ready to go. They eat my legs. And, yeah, I've got a banana to eat, but I think I'm going to get out of this wood before I start eating it. So, let's get out onto the road. Get a little tidy up. Get some, get this jacket off. It's only to keep my midges away. And uh, have a chat. Right, let's go. Right, 
Oh, I feel like the midges are still on these. Okay. Pretty rubbish sleep last night, to be honest. It's, uh, I don't know what it was. It was just up and down and tossing and turning. And I think it's because of the ticks. It's maybe just you get that yucky feeling. Um, I've been bit this morning. I've been bit all over my legs this morning, the midges. Okay, okay. Anyway. It was a successful little camp, that's the thing, the woodland camp, it was somewhere different again. Um, what lovely quiet area, trees and beautiful woodland. This is just 10-15 minutes cycle up from the centre of Aberfeldy. Not Aberfeldy. Fort Augustus. I don't even know, we're in the wrong from in city place. Uh, so this is just... 10-15 minutes outside Fort Augustus. Um, so I'm going to sort the west map. I think I've got to go back into Fort Augustus and join the Great Glen Way that way. I will see if I can pick up some more water, just some fresh water, and maybe just a little bit. I've got my banana to eat, but I might just see if I can get something else to eat just to bulk me up a little bit. <clears throat> um, I've got food for lunch today um, 34 mile cycle hopefully the terrain's a lot better than yesterday and the first day um, I would say it is <laughs> but I've said I said that for the last two days and I didn't realize how kind of tough some of the sections were so the terrain will be what it is <laughs> Let's go on the road. I'm going to eat my banana first before I go anywhere. So this is the locks at Port Augustus. A beyond north is Loch Ness, so this is where all the boats come up and down. And if you think about it, people probably pass this and just think that's just daily life, but this is actually such an incredible feat of engineering. Probably because we don't see it very often, but locals just, or people that are around it all the time, probably just dismiss it. But when you look at it, the way the structure and how things work, actually really intelligent, clever and quite fascinating to be honest when you see it actually working. So these go all the way up and we join the canal and uh, that will be all the way down to Fort William. Just amazing. Fort Augustus is a lovely little place, very bustling with traffic going north to Inverness and south to Fort William and a little bit east and west but yeah it's a pretty busy place summertime it's very touristy and the tourists just love coming up and down here beautiful place
So that's us leaving Fort Augustus behind now. The canal is opening up slightly. What a lovely cycle path. I know there's a bit of a maintenance road anyway, but it will peter down into like a path or a track. But What an enjoyable, peaceful cycle. Definitely for all the family, this section. So I was going to pop into Fort Augustus to get something to eat, just a quick bite. But there's nothing open. <laughs> Apart from a garage that sells generic coffee and that, that's, I'm not wanting that. I would rather have nothing. Um, no coffee shops open at that time in the morning. It's Tuesday. Yeah, so it'd be... I've got my own stuff here anyway. It's just I thought it'd be nice just to have a, a wee coffee and a pastry or something before I left, but nothing open. Probably open at nine o'clock in the morning and I'm... Yeah, it's just not that yet. <laughs> so, but anyway. That's in the past. Just going to enjoy this cycle down the road or the track. So it says cyclists dismount. Okay. No, not happening. Not being pernickety or fussy or anything about it, because I'll cycle through it, but could they not have put a kind of push wooden walkway platform over that? No. They've built a canal for hundreds of years that works fine. I'm quite sure they could have built a concrete or wooden kind of bridge for cyclists to cross, or, or people. Oh my god, there's a red squirrel. red squirrel there as I was talking about a bridge and he was just playing about in the tree there playing a bit of hide and seek but what a fantastic that was just a, one of these nature spur of the moment things he's away jumping about the trees now and uh, oh he's had this one <laughs> oh that was I'm so chuffed that was, that was fantastic lovely to see anyway back to the mission Got to cross this. Well, that was successful. Thought I was cleaning all the white stuff off my tyres here, and uh, we're back to like a chalk, white chalky road. But yep, yeah, wasn't too bad. Knowing my luck to be a big deep bit in the middle. But we shall carry on. The canal has 
obviously opened up into a bigger, a bigger span. And I'm just going to follow this road. Okay, so got to that lock and obviously the diversion takes you away in through the forest on the, if you're coming down to Fort William it takes you across onto the right hand side. Technically I was wanting to do the left hand side because it's a bit better cycle path and things for the bike. Uh, not to be and yeah, I did sort of say that this morning. <laughs> It's going to be a breeze, but yeah, it does never works out like that. So the, the cycle path I was going to take was on the left hand side of the, the water and uh, now on to the right hand side because of this diversion thing. So it is what it is, just a couple of miles extra, but it's all, it's all scenery and it's all time. So we'll just have to get going with it. Well, we're still continuing on that forestry road just up until 100 yards up the hill and it's come down onto this which I thought they were this is the diverted track that they're putting us through um, I don't know if this has been the original path and they've just widened it and they've put hardcore down um, or if this is a, just a completely new track it is pretty difficult and slippy to uh, go on the bike with um, until it gets a wee bit more compact with people but it's definitely a lovely cycle through the wood that's for sure oh goodness 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 Okay. Oh, I'll let my head breathe. For my neck. Oh, what a picture. Okay. I've come out of Invergarry Hotel after having a wee coffee, which was brilliant actually. A well needed stop. Um went through Invergarry just a little bit and turned right into a track following these little green diversion signs which are plentiful and they're help, very helpful um, it's definitely hard work it's hard work because I knew fine I was going to go down the left hand side of the the water side and I knew it was easier for the bike and coming this way it's actually taking its toll I am completely goosed such hard work in the heat and pushing these this bike with the bags and everyone on the back of it I can barely hold the camera up so yes that definitely taking its toll um, it's more annoying than anything because I was wanting to do that other side for easy for being easy but 
you know, we just have to overcome obstacles. I've just come up that forestry track pushing the bike yet again and now I've just clipped the top and I'm freewheeling down a little bit but for how long I don't know. Everything is now unexpected so I have no I have no clue on what's actually happening apart from following the, the track and the diversion signs until I get lower down and back onto the path where it joins where I, I will connect to my path that I was originally going to do. It's nice to be in the shade again. <sighs> Thank goodness I got topped up with water at that hotel there because it's first day work I'll tell you. Right, so that's me just crossed over the Caledonian Canal Lock Bridge and I'm now at Lagan. I think this is Lagan. Um, this is where the diversion takes me across the, the water and back onto my original side that I was coming down anyway. Uh, it should be a little bit easier, I hope. And the paths are pretty well flat-ish all the way down to Fort William, which is 24 miles, I think. So still a, still a good distance, um, but it's manageable if we can just trundle away and pick away at it. And thank goodness I'm not going down that road, that's the A82. I would not like to cycle down that road, it is horrific. That's one word to sub, sub, sum that up. It's a very, very busy road. Um, there is cycle paths, um, pavements for obviously the bikes to keep them off the road. That's just not a road I'm going to be cycling, that is very busy. It's very tight, very fast and majority of everything's lorries and vans, so commercial stuff. Anyway, let's go into this path and have a trundle down the canal. Just passed over lagging locks. This is where all the boats come up to head up the way. But what a lovely bit to stop. So I'm now joined over and I'm now on back on the right hand side of the water going down to Fort William. And um, hopefully we have quite a decent path coming down. It's funny coming through all these 
different varieties of scenery, woodlands and uh, all the different types of trees through forestry roads, canal paths, dirt tracks and then come on to like a nice path like this. So this is us come through a forestry and we're onto this track now. How long it continues I don't know um, but this is still the, the road to Fort William. The day is exceptionally hot. Oh, I did have some pretty steep climbs there. There's a bit of construction traffic that is exploring works, I should say, on part of this for about a mile, half a mile. But there is signposts in there that you can get through. Then you come into the forestry and then you eventually come onto this little path here. And it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a lovely place, like. But we shall continue and see where this path goes. This is a nice little curved dike wall that's been constructed on the path side here and what a very fitting nice little place to have it if I just sit down here because that is your view absolutely fantastic you're quite sheltered as well loving it I'm going to need to stop stopping at every single thing I come to because it's taken ages to do this. <laughs> but I couldn't resist at this one. Just passing this big bit of clear fell forest that they've taken away. It's actually incredible how steep that is and how they've actually managed to take everything away. I know they've got like a harvester and things, but I mean, that's a skilled job that. It looks a fair height that, like. What a job. Some machine that's done that. On a day like today, that is a complete lifeline for a lot of birds, insects and animals. And probably even humans. A nice water source. Fresh.
On the banks of Loch Lochy, just north of the village of Gear Lochy, lies the remains of a training facility where tens of thousands of soldiers trained on how to exit the landing craft as they prepared for the D-Day landings. Standing on where so many soldiers had trained was a very surreal moment. Okay folks, that's me reached Gearlocky Lock. This is back onto the Caledonian Canal and this is me heading down the side of the canal path down to Neptune, Neptune's staircase I should say. So it's a quite a, a nice cycle down there right down beside the canal again right i'm trying to try and do this one-handed <laughs> right that's me on the canal folks it's great um a great cycle path here all the way down the side there is loads of little birds swooping down in the water trying to catch the flies on the water side edge. Um, this has been a great little journey, this three day event, <laughs> three day wild camping along the Great Glen Way. Another little adventure which was probably underestimated in my sense, more so because I had bags in the back. Um, plus yeah there's probably a mix up with a lot of paths. I don't think this is my this is my view. I don't think they're very well signposted. Um, it's a bit of a faff through housing schemes to just get out onto it. You just want to go for a walk like going up streets and dead ends just trying to find out where you're going but when you get out onto the hill through the woodlands and moorlands grass fields little crofts then onto the forestry tracks single tracks gravel roads cycling along the main road you're not on it, but um, cycling along the, the path, popping into like all the little villages that are on the route, drum the rocket, places like that, you know, it's, it's always nice little to see, do a lot of food top up, and uh, yeah, of course it's nice to see, that's why it's here. But yes, if, uh, I'd like to hope that you take something from this, whether be something you'd like to do. I see a lot of people going north. I see very little people coming south. <laughs> it's just the, just the way it's worked out for me. And plenty of people on electric bikes doing it. Um, you are limited to your charging points. There's bed and breakfast as well. And there's you can plan your campsites pretty well. I did see another half a dozen people just wild camping at the side of the, the forest roads so it's all possible so yeah as if you'd like to try it it's called the Great Glen Way there is a wee booklet on it you can find your maps and things like that on it as well uh, I'll put a wee link in the description for it so it's actually been a quite enjoyable little journey even though I've been breaking sweat Trying to drag my bike up a banking up the track. We've just been a bit too gravelly on the foot. Well, I'm going to keep pedalling on. And on. And on. There, we're getting closer to Ben Nevis again and people say it's a bit of a privilege to see Ben Nevis in full 
probably because 99% of the time it's either covered in snow or cloud is low on it so it's a bit of a five days of the year I think they say <laughs> it's maybe, a, maybe just a folk's tale but not very often it's clear but isn't it lovely UK's highest mountain Well folks, this is Neptune's staircase and this either takes you, as I said, this either takes you up the canal or it brings you down to the sea but yet again, just what I said before, what a legendary piece of engineering absolutely beautiful here so well kept it's just lovely and nice to walk up and down here and we've got the swing bridge at the bottom there to let all the boats through ok folks I'm just taking a quick breather so that's me down from Neptune staircase onto the, cross the road and onto the other side it's not very glamorous this part of the Great Glen Way because you're passing through industrial state and housing state so I'll not really film much from here on until I get to the end but got a cracking view of Ben Nevis just round the corner there full, full lot um, but yes Neptune staircase is beautiful so Leaves me to say, I'll see you at the finish line. Well, hello everyone. This is the finish line of the Great Glen Way, or if you want to start it from here, this is the start point. But for me, this is the finishing point, and that's the end of my journey. The Great Glen Way took me three days cycling, bike packing, and I've been eating bimidges and I've got a sore backside I thoroughly enjoyed it, met loads of people great views and it's a fantastic actual walk so it just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching this and hopefully it's encouraged you to do something and I'm just about to away and celebrate with an old can of iron brew see you in the next adventure folks cheers for now Cheers everyone!